John Lee Hooker. Now that is all Smokey Wilson. All I could do. Robert Cray. Three generations of the blues come together in a Whalen one-hour special. Don't miss it, here on Channel 15. Take the blues from Memphis, the country from Nashville, the jazz from New Orleans, and the bluegrass from Kentucky. Mix them all together, and you've got Tonight at Ferlinghetti's, Atlanta's melting pot for the best folk music in the nation. David Holt, Big Boy Henry, Phil and Gay Johnson, Holly Near, the Limeliners, they're all there, along with storyteller host Phil Larkin. Watch tonight at Furlan Gettys each week on Channel 15. Television is where mass audiences were first introduced to computer graphics. The network promotions were all done using backlit film graphics until 1983, I guess, when they started using computer graphics. Now they're all done with computer graphics, and it's really been a change in the type of look. Pacific Data Images president Carl Rosendahl reflects on the first major piece they produced. Probably the most exciting was when Entertainment Tonight went on the air the first night. That's the first piece we had done that was on the air domestically. And here it was a national show that we could pick it up in our own living rooms. And that was incredibly exciting. Computer graphics are now seen nightly around the world in show introductions, sports and news graphics, and network IDs. Wavefront Technologies founder, Bill Kovacs. I think computer graphics has affected people's thoughts about television and information by uh, certainly raising their expectations. People now see very high quality graphics every evening on television. They've come to expect that. Harry Marks designed NBC's new look. Uh, to do something that looked like Vegas. That was, that was all they said. Here's the theme, let's all be there. And we want something that looks like Vegas. Using the Symbolics 3D system, the animator begins to model objects and choreograph motion using wire frames instead of the fully colored object. Wireframe images are collections of straight lines which can be displayed and moved much faster by the animator to test motion before the final piece is computed. Using the Wavefront Technology System, the Showtime text, or logo, was formed from individual 3D letters. This wireframe city street scene was built on the Bosch computer system. While the bus pulls away, we move closer to the movie marquee with a traveling point of view. In this low-resolution color test of the same scene, objects now have surfaces and color, but they have a rough appearance and little detail. In the final version, notice that the bus has been given headlights. There are stars in the sky, and lampposts have been added to the town square. Also with a moving point of view, we fly through this complicated landscape of moving images for Bravo. Notice that other effects have been added in the finished piece over the content of the original wireframe test. And now, computer graphics.